Hi hey guys. Um, so today I'm going to quickly show you how we can still manage vSend without vCenter. So this is done through the uh, vSphere host client. So how do you reach the host client? Just connect directly to any of the vSend nodes. So in this case, uh, .42 is one of my many vSend nodes. So let's go log in. So what you're going to see is um, instead of like vCenter, you're going to manage the entire cluster. So you only really get the particular host that you logged in on. So if I go click on VMs, I'll see a couple of VMs there. That's currently running on this particular host. Click on storage. And naturally, I will have NFS, vSAN, data store as well. So you can go click on vSAN. You can go, you know, register VM permissions, the usual stuff. Uh, alternatively, you have the ability to monitor this. So if there's events that comes cropping up, that's here. Um, just go vSAN. You can do some edit settings, some basic settings. Uh, naturally, you would assume that you don't actually get to do a whole lot here without vCenter. But nonetheless, you still have some visibility of how it's actually working. So I can go to health, and this is where it's it's improved significantly. So you can go performance services, you know, uh, stuff like stats DB object, all host contributing stats. You can kind of troubleshoot bits and pieces here. Uh, you can also check stuff like network, latency checks. If all the hosts are pinging OK, what's the latency like? Um, let's go to physical drives. All right, how much is capacity? If there's any issues around that, component health limit, nothing there, no congestions, stuff like that. So maybe I'll just bring cluster up since there's a yellow bar there. Oh, OK. Of course, v said this, this is unbalanced on my cluster. It's a fairly small cluster, so the disk is all over the place. So I have a disbalance issues on one of those nodes. I need to move that amount to balance it off. So it's fairly useful information, really. So alternatively, you could also reach other vSAN nodes here. So if I go click that, just launch up the host connectivity on the other node. So let's go and try to create a new VM. Let's go create new VM. It's fairly straightforward, like you would normally create a VM. Let's call this a dummy VM. Pick an OS, let's pick Windows. Uh, let's go server 28. Okay, pick vSend data store. So the big difference here is that unlike the vCenter consoles, you get to pick the policy to assign it against um, because we don't actually necessarily have capabilities to manipulate pol policies. So if you go create a new VM, naturally just picks up the default uh, policy. So I go next, next, finish. Do you see the VM there? Okay, power on, business as usual. Okay, so just coming back to the earlier console, for the node, there you go. So um, hopefully this is uh, useful for you guys. Um, and um, yeah, see you next time.